Welcome to this episode of The People's Garage. Today's topic is the lean codes, P0171 and 174. Now lean means there's too much air entering the engine or there's not enough fuel. So which one is it? P0171 means that the trouble is on bank one. P0174 indicates that the trouble is coming from bank two. So what is bank one and bank two? A four cylinder engine is only gonna have one bank because it has all four cylinders in line. There's no V shape like a V6 or a V8 that's gonna have two banks. Um, bank one's always gonna be the side that cylinder one's located on. The diagram here will show you uh, cylinders one, three, and five is gonna be on bank one in this case. So that's the, uh, looks like if the front of the engine's there, that's gonna be the passenger side of the vehicle. And cylinders two, four, and six are gonna be on the driver's side and that's bank two. Uh, there's going to be oxygen sensors front and rear of the catalytic converter on OBD2 vehicles, meaning 96 or newer. Um, there's going to be four oxygen sensors on this vehicle, one in front of the cat, one behind the cat, and on each side, so bank one and bank two. These are going to report the conditions for these lean codes in most cases. Um, in this case here, it's not always going to be one, three, five on one side, like for instance Ford would have one, two, and three and then on the other bank it would be 4, 5, and 6. So you really have to look up your particular vehicle. You can Google that. Uh, put in year, make a model and then bank 1 or bank 2 and you'll have a diagram pop up like this for your vehicle. Or put firing order. That's another way to do it when you're searching. Um, in this case here, what this is illustrating, the O2 sensor reports to the computer how much oxygen is in the exhaust the computer determines if it needs to add fuel based on that report in order to maintain a good fuel ratio of 14.7 to 1. 14.7 pounds of air to 1 pound of fuel. If too much air is constantly reported by the O2 sensor, the computer has to add more fuel. The computer will set a P0171 code if the issue is on bank 1 or a P0174 code if the issue came from bank 2. The computer is only going to set this code when it has to add 20% fuel to a bank. Okay, so what this is illustrating here is the oxygen sensor is an input to the computer. The computer is going to make decisions based on the sensors that are inputs to it. The oxygen sensor, the mass airflow sensor, it's going to take the data that these sensors are picking up and determine what to do with that. So if the oxygen sensor is saying, hey, I'm getting way too much air over here, the computer is going to say, okay, let me see what I can do with that. And it's going to say, okay, we need to add more fuel because you need to maintain, on average, 14.7 pounds of air to one pound of fuel. Now, this is not always going to be the case. If you're accelerating very hard, you're going to have more fuel going to the engine. You're going to be down 13 to 1 or 12 to 1. You're not always going to be at 14.7 to 1. Um, a good example I use for going lean is if, say, you're in a stick shift vehicle or you're in an automatic and you downshift coming off the freeway and the engine revs up and it starts slowing the vehicle down because you dropped a gear, um, that's going to go real lean. That's what's known as when the wheels are actually driving the engine instead of the engine driving the wheels. Then you're going to be up, say, 16 to 1 or 17 to 1. You're going to go lean, which is fine because the car recognizes what you're doing. But if this happens for no good reason, it's going to set one of these lean codes if that ratio is thrown way off. So the computer always wants to maintain a good ratio of fuel. To air. Okay, so if it has to add 20% fuel to bank one or bank two, it's going to set that code to let you know that there's a problem there. Okay, so it's going to try to add fuel for minor situations, but once it gets up to 20%, that's a little excessive. Now you're wasting gas and you're causing problems for the engine. So it's going to set that code on to let you know what's going on. So the fuel injector in this case is an output or an actuator. Okay, so it's going to get told what to do by the computer. Now, common problems that set these lean codes, 171 and 174, uh, mass airflow sensors are very common to set these. If the mass airflow sensor is dirty, <clears throat> which they can be cleaned, it's not going to really get a good reading. If there's a bunch of dirt on the sensor, it's not going to really determine how much air is passing through the intake right after the air filters where you can find the mass airflow sensor. Um, if it's just faulty, if there's something messed up with the wiring or if it's just Something's not right with it. It doesn't necessarily mean it's dirty, but it's faulty. It's going to give an inaccurate report 
of air to the PCM. The oxygen sensors, they can be dirty or faulty also and provide an inaccurate report of air to the, uh, to the uh, computer. I'm sorry. The intake manifold gasket is another common problem. Okay, a vacuum leak in other words. So the intake manifold gasket can be leaking air, can suck air into the engine, but because it, that air that it's sucking into the engine did not pass through the air filter and through the mass airflow sensor, the computer does not know that that air is there because it's not supposed to be there. So any air that's entering the engine should pass through the mass airflow sensor on a good tight sealed engine with no leaks, no vacuum leaks. Um, so if it sneaks past and goes into a leak in the intake manifold gasket, that's called unmetered air. So now the oxygen sensor is picking up this extra air and the mass airflow is saying, I, I take that back, the oxygen sensor is picking up that air and it's reporting it back to the computer and then the computer is looking at the mass airflow sensor and the mass airflow sensor is saying, I'm not seeing that air. The computer is going to say, well, what's going on here? And it's going to try to add more fuel to correct for the situation. And when it gets above 20%, it sets that code. Uh, regular vacuum leaks, they are also unmetered air because they do not pass through the mass airflow sensor. Okay, So the computer is also going to see this coming through the oxygen sensors. When it leaves the exhaust, it's going to see that extra air. And the mass airflow sensor is saying, no, I don't see it over here. So it's going to cause an issue. That's a lean condition. Now that's all too much air. But what if we don't have enough fuel? That's also going to be a lean condition. Okay, Because too much air or not enough fuel... Either way, it's going to be a lean situation. So if fuel injectors are clogged or dirty, they're not going to provide enough fuel. So now the oxygen sensor is seeing more air than fuel in that case for one bank or another bank. If a fuel injector on cylinder number one is clogged or dirty, it's going to cause a lean condition on bank one. If on bank two, it's the same situation, only bank two will report that. And that's going to come up as a P0174. If a fuel filter is clogged or dirty, that's going to affect both banks because the fuel filter is not specific to bank one or bank two. You'll probably get both codes in this case if a fuel filter is dirty. And once again, the air is going to be there properly, but the fuel is not going to be there. So in other words, the oxygen sensors are going to be lean in that case. Report that to the computer, and it's going to set that code once it gets bad enough. Some common issues that I see with the few vehicles I just wanted to point out. Um, are the Ford trucks with the 5.4 liter engine. This was common in the early 2000s. A very common issue to set these codes um, was the little PCV elbow. It's like a 2 or $3 part. It's a little 90 degree elbow on the back of the intake. And that's very common to suck air in back there because they just melt. They get very hot back there and they melt. A big hole creates in that uh, rubber elbow and it sucks air in back there causes a lean condition. That should set both codes in most cases because it's not specific to bank one or bank two. It's just on the intake manifold on the back. Okay, And it's um, also very common on these trucks for the intake manifold to leak. And in this case, that can set a 171 or a 174 or possibly both, depending on where the leak is in the manifold. Um, also, the mass airflow sensor in these trucks is known to be an issue. Uh, many Toyotas are very common to have issues with the mass airflow sensors for these codes. 171 on four cylinders, just due to the fact that there is no bank two, so there is no 174. Or if it's a V6 or V8, then you would have both codes on those Toyotas. Many GM engines, especially the 3.1s, 3.4s, are super common for intake gaskets to be leaking to cause these codes. And like I said with the Ford truck, it could be a 171 or a 174 or both, depending on where the leak is in the intake gasket. Um, so that's just a quick summary of these codes. If you have specific questions for your particular vehicle and want to know exactly how to check it, uh, go ahead and write me a comment on this video. Or you can also, if you're a subscriber, I give free advice to my subscribers. So if you have any questions, you can also email me at mypeoplesgarage at gmail.com. Thank you for tuning in, and this is just a quick... A uh, basic video on the 171 and the P0174 codes. Thank you.